one star shines brighter than the rest. Red Carpet Talk. We bring the red carpet to you. Understand that you are a Dove Award nominee. Yes, correct. I am. I am. With your debut, mm -hmm. how did that feel? I cried like a small child. I might as well have been in the fetal position because I was so excited. But you know, for real, uh, God's so faithful. And when you're able to check things off of your dream list, uh, you know, in the living room, literally, my parents and I were sitting around crying just because God's goodness and His faithfulness, and it was such an honor and very encouraging and you know the fact that th there's a reach that's able to happen and people care and you know it's just um very special and something I don't take lightly so it was really amazing the music that you sing mm -hmm. makes you want to move makes even me want to move and I'm not like some well, I'll just young be kid you. I'll be following you moving. what do you think about that what do you think about folks just busting out their move I think we songs. should have a dance contest. Amen. That's what I think. No, um, you know, it's so funny. I grew up as a hip hop dancer and uh, I love to move and just, um, but for me, again, this is genre. The heart of the matter is like worship, but the feel, you know, for me, I'm like anything that you can groove to and move to, that's the kind of music that I love. Like, you know, I'm such a product of the 70s because my parents met and fell in love in the 70s. And my mom, my mom and I, it's very interesting. We've actually, um, Kind of like marked significant events in our lives and and when she when she was 25 26 she was the blonde front man for an <laughs> eight-piece show group with horns and, no where you know, did the would, afro wig come in that's so funny she had a freedom afro wig <laughs> on an orange one when she met my father you know and six inch platforms and he was actually in them too oh, don't try that oh, at that's home frightening. yeah i know but they danced the night away kind of thing and of course you know they didn't know the lore but it's crazy how she was literally for different reasons but you know she's the reason why i am who i am and uh when she got born again and they fell in love with jesus you know they were just as bold and blazing for the lord as they were in their like hippie days you know and um but the essence of you know she was doing marvin gay and tammy terrell covers mm -hmm. um and, and it was just glamorous and beautiful, you know, like old timeless music and, and just the Motown and 70s like made current is kind of all things soulful is what I love genre wise. And uh, then uh, to couple that, I, I grew up as a praise and worship leader. And so in the midst of that kind of music and then falling in love with worship and learning how to lead people in the presence of God and just doing ministry, like God just knows what we need for a plan. And he just started forming artistry for me and then a current artist that was a, a really big uh, influence on my life was Lauren Hill. Yes. Uh, I uh, heard her sing His Eyes on the Sparrow and Sister Act <laughs> 2, and I was like, we're done here. I'm going to need to know how to sing like that. And uh, she's an amazing lyricist, and, you know, I, I don't know to what degree she knew about what she was singing, but, man, she would sing scriptures, and I would just be like, what's going on? This is, this Absolutely. is phenomenal. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I, I think I come by, honestly, my parents are music lovers. My dad was a drummer. They grew up in the 70s and just that kind of music they're still grooving to, and we groove to together as a family, and then I get to do what I love now. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. What's a message you want to send? Um, honestly, just hope. Uh, again, thinking about that scripture that says, like, hope's like the anchor to your soul. I mean, honestly, uh, I think that, you know, we are all looking for hope, and we're all looking for those things that are fulfilling and satisfying. And, and it, you know, as cliche as it is, we all are looking for love that was created for a reason, you know. Um, and the statement that's just been on my heart lately is, is love hungry. Like, God, you created us, like, as a love hungry people. And uh, the reason, like, God, the genius of, of, of our Father God is that he knew that the only thing that would ever satisfy us would be real love. Real love. Yeah, and man, Which I feel like, love. absolutely, and, and we <laughs> attempt, you know, these versions, or, you know, we think this is love, or we thought that relationship was love, or we thought this thing would be enough 
but it's amazing because nothing will ever be enough but his love and it's a free gift that's what's amazing about it so yeah just learning about that and, and and pray and hope that people experience that hi guys my name is darren mclean you're watching red carpet talk and so am i for all the latest from hollywood check back often to www.redcarpettalk.com